software lets you um, find lists of people that are actually and and kind of figure out who's active who's not active in Facebook and lets you control hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we want to talk about how do you find the most active leads in Facebook so if you're using Facebook social media to actually find your leads to build an audience to grow a business how do you find the ones that are the most active so that you're focused on the people that are actually active so we'll talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets all right so if you're using Facebook if you're using social media well especially Facebook because I'm going to show you how to use it on Facebook to build your audience to build a brand to build a you know fan base to sell stuff online right you want to be spending your time with people that are actually there on the platform right so how do you know if it's just some random person that posts like you know once a year of course there's lots of different ways to do this but I'm going to show you using a simple software that really really helps to actually focus and find the people but before I get into that I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the video at cis504.jsgagnon.com because I'll be sharing my screen and I'll be showing you all uh all how that works all right so let's get right to it I'm going to share my screen and let me just start by saying that this is going to be about this software but also I'm going to show you kind of how you can do it with Facebook so this software lets you um find lists of people that are actually and and kind of figure out who's active who's not active in Facebook and lets you control your time so you're not wasting your time in the news feed yeah sure you could be in the news feed right you could be going through the news feed and just commenting on posts that are in here Facebook does kind of show you stuff that it thinks you're interested in right like who you've been engaging with regularly and those people that are posting and whatever right and so you could just do that and that's what leaders tell you to do right when you start online you should be just engaging in the news feed learning to use the platform and posting content and you know all that stuff right so whatever you're doing now is the basics and but the thing is that you're going to find that over time you're going to see always the same the post from the same people right it's going to be always the same people right it's always going to be like me Jen Johnson here it's going to be so Kathleen Mitchell uh, I'm going to see well this is an ad uh Diane Hockman I see all the same Karina Heath I see Christy Waldron I see Colin Yearwood these are people that I see in my newsfeed all the time and the reason why I see them all the time is because Facebook knows that if you engage on posts if you comment on posts right if you you know post something uh if somebody posts something and you actually engage on that post of that person Facebook is like oh that you, you know this person you right likes this other person's post so I'm going to show more of those posts right which you know makes sense and in the beginning it's fine but as you get more and more um what's what's the word as you get more and more well as you're online longer and longer that no longer works that great because you want to be getting new blood you want to be finding new people right so then what do leaders tell you leaders tell you go into groups find people in groups you know create groups to bring bring people in go into existing groups and comment and engage and all that good stuff right all that is great and that is kind of the next thing but when you get to a point where you've been online for a while like me I've been online since 2015 and over the last probably three to five years I've been like oh this is all the same I I I don't want to spend you know four hours on the news feed to find new people because you know Facebook will show you once in a while some new person that's kind of similar to the other people you're engaging with and all that but you know like, I mean what if this person like say this uh, well Connie is actually another friend that posts regularly that I engage with but let's see like Russell Brunson right here obviously he's a leader I'm just trying to see somebody Carla's see these are all 
people I engage with regularly and I can't see but anyways I was just going to say say for example there's a new person here that posts something right Facebook's going to show it to you and then you can engage on it but what if that person never posts anything again ever or so you just spent time reading their post commenting on their post and whatever and say you do that to 10 20 40 50 posts a day you're wasting your time on people that aren't even comment aren't even on the platform they're not they're, they post once a month or something right and you know it's 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 great that you're finding these new oh sorry <laughs> I'm just <laughs> so it's great that you're finding all these new people but what I mean the thing is what if um you keep doing that you keep doing that you're just basically engaging on a person's post that posts once a month just so you know they're not going to remember you the next time you comment on their post because they haven't posted in a month and the secret to building an audience to building a fan base to building people that actually get to know like and trust you on a social platform is that they need to see you regularly like not every day but lot probably multiple times a week now that doesn't mean and that's why leaders tell you to post every day right because if you post every day then there's a chance that the people that see your post will see your next post not all of them they're not going to see the, all of them but Facebook's going to show your post to them once in a while because they it's there's a reciprocity going on anyways there's a whole bunch of other things I I talk about that in lots of other blog posts but today I want to kind of talk to you about how do you get to a point where you're kind of in control of your time so me this is what I do right so I go I use this software so we're just going to go in here we're going to say we're going to go to the all contacts we'll let it load up it'll it takes a, a few moments but the thing is that I use this to get my list of people that are actually engaged on Facebook the people that are actually commenting and posting in groups and then from there I also it also gets me the list of the people that I've engaged with in my newsfeed if I choose to engage on the newsfeed just kind of on the side but other than that it tracks who I engage with but it also tracks who mentions me in comments so I know that a person like if I look at this for example see this the, this column here is the number of mentions so you were mentioned by in a comment by this person right so if I look at this list here you can see that and that this is a new feature that's only been out for about uh two three weeks I think so that's why these numbers aren't like as high as these other numbers so, so okay so just just as a background here in case you're new to this the first column is the number of visits that you went you had against this person so these people that are here are actually you know Facebook comments Facebook people they're not necessarily your friends they're just people you've engaged with you have visited their profile you've commented on their stuff so this here is the number of visits so you see the seven the two the 12 the 24 the 60 so that's the number of times that I using the tool went well not just using the tool actually now it, it tracks when I just do it on Facebook directly in the feed but it's the number of times that I've visited either their profile or commented well it's actually the number of times that I've commented or reacted to one of their posts or number of days so if I go to their profile more than once in a day it won't record it as two times it'll be like kind of one so that means that over a period of time I've actually visited you know me Minas ski sorry if I'm saying it wrong uh seven times over a certain period of time now if I want to know exactly I can click on her name here it'll give me a summary and it kind of shows me right here the last visit was four days ago and I did seven in the last 42 days now if I use using the computer on the on the phone you don't get that ability but if I mouse over here you can actually see exactly when that was right four days ago 11 days ago 17 days ago 24 30 etc right so it shows you the exact dates <coughs> of the visits so that kind of lets you track that but that's not what I really want to talk about I want to talk about who how do you know who's the most valuable to you in terms of you trying to build rapport with them trying to build connections trying to communicate with them and all that like you know there's no sense like I said engaging and commenting on posts in Facebook that the, that will well that's it's not it's not no sense what I mean is if you're trying to build a brand if you're trying to grow your audience if you're trying to get people to notice you you need to be doing activities on Facebook right so that's 
and and everybody teaches that right everybody teaches posting content commenting on stuff going to groups all that stuff everybody teaches the same stuff but the difference is with this you know whether the person that you're going to engage with has been posting or not like say I look Don Anderson here right she posts all the time she's very active on Facebook so I know that if I go to her profile and I comment I want her to post she's probably going to see it within a day or two and from these numbers you can actually tell that she has seen and she's commented back either she's replied to my comments or she's actually commented on my posts that's what this number is the 27 right here uh so yeah so going back to these numbers the first one is the visits the number of visits you did the number the second number is the r for reactions if i mouse over this it kind of tells you what it is uh the number of reactions you did on that context social profile post right so facebook post the number of reactions the number of comments right here and this is whether you sent them a, a private message or not whether you send them a friend request or not these might go away because they're not very useful that much um, but anyways and then the last one the m here is the number of mentions so that means the number of times that your name was included in a post or a tag a comment or a reply and this shows you the numbers right so you can see right here that Don is actually constantly you know including me in in a she's replying to posts or she's commenting on my post she's replying to my comments on her post same thing with Deborah here and, and Martha and Jody and all these people they are replying to my stuff and this is what this number is here 19 19 20 right 21 17 16 so obviously that doesn't mean that um that doesn't necessarily mean that they're like a potential lead of mine but they're more likely to at least get to know me right because they're seeing my posts most likely but they're definitely seeing my comments on their posts and they're replying to them right so if I was to look at say for example well let's go to Don here right so if I click on her name it loads up this little summary that kind of shows you know like I said before the visits the number of comments if you mouse over those you can kind of see when each of those comments each of the reactions were and all that stuff right but what we're interested in is the dimensions up here it says there's four five see the last five posts last five comments the last five mentions right or I can click on the reload here it'll reload everything but if I if I just want to see what kind of mentions Don has been doing against my comments I can just click on this and it kind of shows me a quick little summary right so she she specifically said something no doubt about it you know grateful uh it's so beautiful you would love it uh the best ceo ever right so i mean if i and it, and if i want to know more i can actually click this i can click on this here whichever one i want it'll open up the actual facebook post that is related to that specific comment right so this is the post and that's my comment right right here and this is her reply right that's that's what we're seeing in this in the software it's the reply that's right here right so if I can click on any of these it'll get get, get them to me right so it kind of tracks that stuff for you but the thing that's really uh cool to know is whether a person is ready for you to have a conversation with right you know leaders they tell you go out there get uh get known you know post content send friend requests to people send them a private message build connections with people right and the problem with that is that Facebook doesn't want you to do that <laughs> right Facebook doesn't want you to just randomly randomly send friend requests and randomly send pm so so you end up having to do like limitations right you got to do it like maybe five or ten <coughs> at most and not to mention that if you're doing that most people won't even have a clue who you are they're gonna be like who's this random person sending me a message right even if you follow what the leaders tell you which is go to their Facebook page you know look at what they're what they're about you know see if they talk about a place they've lived or a hobby they have or anything like that then send them a private message related to that which is certainly that's definitely better than just a random message right 
and then send them a friend request and tell them hey by the way I sent you a friend request I really love your you know and excitement about your company you're in or I re I love that you lo like horses I love horses too you know whatever it is right and then because you're kind of giving a rapport based message based on their profile there's a more highly likely chance that they'll reply and maybe you build a re uh, you have a conversation with them right but I don't know if I don't know about you huh, but that seems like a lot of work and it is a lot of work and you still don't get that many people replying right you might get one out of five that'll reply if not one out of ten that'll actually reply that you some of them will just reply thanks and that's it right and you try to send them another message after having a conversation by the way can I ask you what kind of business you're in or these kinds of things they, they don't reply more right because they're like they know you're trying to that you're trying to sell them something you're trying to you know get them or whatever they think right so this approach which is basically you take control of your time first of all you're not going to be spending four hours in the news feed every day you're me I do like these numbers that are here show you how many uh how many visits I did today yesterday the day before right these are what those are right so 29 visits 30 38 30 what is that 38 31 39 number of profiles that I've or number of comments that I've made on posts or you know uh, unique people right so typically what I do is I just go through my list here and I click on the names and I visit their profile and I just do that I use the tool here now th there's a lot that I can explain about this um but le let me just actually give you another another thing so if you go to my blog which is jeansergegagnon.com or jsgagnon.com or the link that you you got in there you're going to see their whole bunch of blog posts right these are basically the the episodes for this uh for uh that I'm doing right now I'm doing the next episode right now right 504 right but if you want you can come in here and you go into uh well actually active group users well you can go down here and you can find the different categories you click on active group users right here that'll give you all the blog posts about active group users uh I don't think it clicked did it I didn't click so it'll give you all the just the posts about active group users which is the software I'm talking about here right it talks about all these different things that I have down here a bunch of different anyways there's a lot a lot a lot of stuff but the basics of it is that you tell it which groups your target market is in it'll start to give you a list every day of your uh of your highest targeted people and then over time you're going to get these obviously when you first start these are all going to be zero right they're all going to have zero there you're going to start to visit the profiles and then you can choose to visit profiles that you haven't visited in, in six days right so say for example I say right here I don't want to I don't want to see anybody that I've visited in the last five days only six days or more so you just click that then you click the filter and then you get the list of people that you visited at least six days ago you can make it 10 you can make it 20 whatever you want I use six uh because I figure a week is seven so six is just a little bit less than a week and for me it's like as you engage on their posts they start to notice you because you're always adding valuable comments to them but that's the point of being on social media right you've got to be putting valuable comments on people's posts you don't just randomly comment anything right so if I go to Martha's post here I click on her name here and then to visit her profile I just click her name again because the first thing it does it pops up the summary right and that takes me to Facebook on her page directly I don't have to go through the news feed or anything like that and then I can come down here and I can just comment on some on some of these posts right so uh, I look to add more to the portfolio and I'm just gonna say I'm just gonna you know react to this post whoops I guess it was still loading uh let's just react to this post I'm gonna just love it right I'm gonna say congratulations congrats right now obviously this is a simple post she's just posting that she achieved some some result right but you know when it's a post that you want to read you you read it right and you comment something rele relevant to the post right so in this case I just did one comment on one post so I'm going to close this tab now 
and it takes me back to this page automatically so I'm just going to say I commented on one post and I reacted to one post and then I save updates now by the way if you don't do that the next time you the software you know uh, scrapes Facebook because that's how it works it'll notice that you visited Martha's uh, profile and it'll notice that you commented on one post and it'll actually save that for you but if you do this like this it's it puts it right away in the list here and see how it says 19 now because it was 18 a second ago that's because I visited one more person and that's kind of how that works so that's the basics but but like I said how do you find the most active by looking at who is see right now I'm sorting it by the number of mentions that means that this list that's here is only showing me the people that are the most engaged with my comments now I don't have to do that I can come in here and I can say okay show me this Facebook uh, this FC column right here is the number of comments that this user has uh, uh, done in groups right so if I click on this and they'll sort me by that instead so I can choose to look at the people that are the most uh, engaged on my uh, that mention me the most the people that um, comment the most in groups the people that uh, post the most in groups there's all these different things you can do obviously and in this case I've, I've included hidden so I'm going to remove the hiddens which means hidden no I don't want to see the hiddens I should have done that before I didn't realize but yeah so now we just reload the list of the people that I've uh, that that have commented in groups and you're going to see in a second what that looks like so it basically gives me the list sorted by that right obviously it's like any other database there's a whole bunch of different things that th you can sort on any of these things right if I want I can sort by the number of visits the number of reaction the comments I can even sort by their name if I want uh, by when I visited them and then these four columns are Facebook posts Facebook comments face previous Facebook uh, posts and previous uh, or Facebook comments last which that's why it's FPL that's Facebook post last so the last so this is the last 30 days this is the previous 30 days so you can see it's sorted by this and you see Jennifer here has 17 comments now if you want to see what they are you can you can click on it and then you can actually click on the five comments right here and it shows you the comments that she's reacted same thing with this you can click on the on the post and to go see the actual post if I click on this <coughs> it'll take me directly to that group uh, that this post was in and it'll show me the actual comment of the post and oh I guess I'm not in this group anymore they removed me for maybe maybe it was a paid uh, group but I guess yeah so that's probably an older comment you, you can see 2024-03 it's last year right so I must be out of the group now but that's fine that happens but the thing is that this is and the, the the searches that it'll do it'll it has to be groups that you're in right like I was in this group that otherwise this would not have been uh, picked up um and that's kind of how that works um what else can I show you so and this is kind of how you use it you just click on the name click on the profile go visit their profile like us let's do it again right Jennifer I click on her name again takes me to her Facebook page and then from there I can just engage on her on her profile directly right I actually already commented on this a few days ago probably let's see if there's anything new that I haven't commented on there's her she does she donates her hair so she's close to donating in oh okay and then I'm just gonna like that let's just love it oh that's such a great a great cause right so I'm just doing something like that and now the idea here is just like any other I'll just do the one right uh close it again and I'm gonna go back in here I'm gonna say I comment on one post reacted to one post and save the updates right so now it shows me that I've got 20 visits right so that's kind of how it works for the day-to-day -day activities but like I said this lets you short see the people that are the most active by sorting by the mentions or by the number of comments that they're posting on Facebook so at least you know that these people that you're engaging with in in Facebook instead of using the feed 
are actually active in Facebook now you can see right here I've got 32,000 so I can click on load more here to load more but you know when you start you're not going to have that many but that's kind of that's kind of what to how you can tell who is actually active in Facebook now going back to what I said in the beginning where I said you can actually use Facebook to figure that out a little bit is you know you can go to your profile right and then you can uh, wait for it to load here and then you can go in the three little dots and you go to activity log now the activity log let's there's a whole bunch of stuff in here right but what you're kind of interested in maybe is um pages what are videos you watch your search history groups comments so I think your Facebook activity is it comments yeah so this one kind of shows you that I come see just now I commented on Jennifer's uh, post right and also the previous one Martha's post right and earlier today these other people right so that shows me what I did on Facebook right but then how do I know <coughs> I don't know if there's is that in here I forget where that is there's a mentions <coughs> activity you're tagged in oh there you go so there's posts and comments you're tagged in and photos and videos you're tagged in so that's where you get the mentions from so the thing with that is that yeah sure you can get it from Facebook you can yeah but seriously who is going to take the time to go through this list and tally up stuff and figure out who's actually re reacting to your stuff right the other thing you can do too is you can go to notifications right under notifications you can see people who commented on your stuff who mentioned you in a comment those are mentions the same thing as these but what about the ones that they just post commented on your post right I haven't posted in a few days so there's none there but there's a lot of stuff in Facebook that you can use to figure stuff out but nobody wants to take that time I certainly didn't so I wrote a software that does it for me and all it does is every single day it goes and gets this information tallies it up for me and gives it to me in a nice you know this I mean yeah nice is a, a strong word because this is kind of like you know very uh <laughs> old school style but still it gives you the list of the people and the numbers and everything else that you can use to figure out who's the most active so so then what happens is after a while your there are people that you're engaging with they will start to know who you are and at that point you can start you can send them a message and you can say hey I had noticed your stuff I really like that you're also a horse lover and I just thought I'd say hi and then you will you'll actually have a conversation with them because they already kind of know you because they've seen you in your in your in their in their post you're commenting in their post and all that good stuff so that's how you get to find the most active people in Facebook so that you can stop wasting your time on the news feed. all right uh, we'll talk to you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time